You want to get out? Buttons. Do you want to get out? Yeah? Hey guys, welcome to Dog Guide, a guide to a guide dog. I'm Swayze and this is Buttons. Today we are actually going to go up to Santa Barbara on a little daycation. So I thought it would be a great chance for me to show you what it's like to travel with a guide dog. Now normally, if I'm just going for like five or six hours, I don't really bring much, just pretty much whatever Buttons is wearing. But once I hit about eight hours, I start being concerned about extra things. Today, because it's gonna be a full daycation, it could potentially up to 12 whole hours, so I have to pack an entire bag for little Buttons here. I've heard a lot of people actually say, oh, it must be nice to take your dog everywhere with you. You know, honestly, it is, but it can be a lot of work as well. <laughs> It reminds me a lot of taking a newborn baby with you somewhere. I have to pack all of this stuff that you can see behind me, and it's like carrying a diaper bag around with you. I guess you could call it her poopy bag bag. Mm -mm. Maybe not. <laughs> Anyways, let me show you a few things that I'm going to be packing, just so that you know what it takes to take buttons with me for the day. So let's see what all we need to pack. The obvious stuff, like poop bags. Even if your dog is on a schedule, you always want to have these just in case. Emergency purposes. In fact, I was walking down the street one day and I had these with me and someone else needed one. It was very handy. I recommend always having a water bowl on hand. No matter how long you're going to be out and about, especially during these summer hours, it's a good idea to be able to give your dog some water. Of course, I always have my treat pouch and plenty of extra treats just in case. I only bring extra treats whenever I'm going on a long day, otherwise I just fill up the pouch in the morning and go from there. This is Buttons' favorite thing for me to bring with me. Because it's summertime, we're going to be using Buttons' summertime harness. This is mesh, it's see-through, it's, it's a lot nicer in the hot weather. But we're going to be out potentially until dark and we're going to be near the beach, so it could get cold, so we're going to be bringing her wintertime vest with us as well, just in case. Because of her summertime vest, that means she has to use her harness underneath because this one doesn't have a leash. This one doesn't have an attachment to it. So we gotta add that as well. Of course, you always wanna have the leash. I highly recommend, even when you're not going on some big daycation, to always have a carabiner on the top of the leash. This I always loop into my, lip, my hip or onto my purse or something that's easy so that I can still have my hands free while standing still and I don't have to worry about buttons going anywhere. As I mentioned, it's summertime, so you want to be really thoughtful about her little tootsies. I have two different kinds of shoes for buttons. I've got these little rubber paw ones, they're like little balloons. They're adorable and make the cutest little sounds. But I also have these more heavy duty ones. These are great for the snow, but also they can be useful in the really hot, hot, hot heat. Shouldn't be too bad today, so I think these will be just right. But bringing both, just in case. Because we are traveling, we want to make sure that we always have everything safety harnessed down in the car. I have two different versions of car seats for buttons. I have this little seatbelt hook that actually goes into a seatbelt and then hooks onto her just like a leash that keeps her safe. And I also have a car seat, which is already installed in the car, which is a full box that she sits in and is harnessed into. Both are good, and I highly recommend doing that for any dog that you have. You don't want them running around and distracting you, getting hurt, or hurting you. Because we're gonna be traveling all day and potentially into the night, I do actually have a few light up leashes and collars that I put on buttons so that people notice her a little bit better in the dark. I got the light up collar. Can't really see it in this bright light, sorry. And the light up leash, just in case. Also, because we're taking her with us all day long, taking a bag for her to be in is a perfect thing. Usually during the day, she's not in the bag because she's walking. Obviously, she's working, actually. But this is a great place for her to sit down whenever we're in a restaurant or just sitting and doing some wine tasting. This is a great place for her to settle down, be calm, be comfortable, and me not have to worry about her. It's also great sometimes at night if you're in a really overly crowded place. I've had a lot of people sometimes not notice her, even with the light up leash and collar. And so sometimes I prefer to just pick her up and carry her. I would rather someone run into me than run into her. Well, that's everything. We're all packed. So, you ready to go? <laughs> okay, hop. All the way. Good
say 99 bottles of beer on the wall, 99 bottles of beer, take one down, pass it around, 98 bottles of beer on the wall. Your turn, Buttons. So I was told this great five second rule to test if your dog needs to wear shoes or not. Put the back of your hand onto the ground for five seconds. And if you can't hold it there for five seconds, then your puppy can't walk around with it without shoes. That's a great test. This ground, not that hot. So Button's gonna go shoe free. driving and you can't do anything. Can you not do nothing? Is it always driving? Yeah. Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah. Finally down. Buttons. Now wake her up. There she is. Hi baby. Good time back there. What did? No, really. I know you'd rather be up here, but you gotta stay in your stay in your seat. Poor button. All right, guys. So we made it home, nice, safe, and sound after a fun, eventful day. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of the fun stuff that we did. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below if you liked what you saw, or leave a comment to, t to tell us how adorable buttons is. And of course, now please enjoy your moment of Z's. Say good night, buttons. Yeah.